Hello friend, welcome back to our channel KBS Technocraft. Today we are going to explore in detail Azure Blob Trigger. So in this we are going to understand what is an Azure Blob Trigger, purpose and use cases, how Blob Trigger works and we will also write a example sample code. So it will demonstrate the hands on how you can implement Blob Triggers right and then we will understand what is the trigger mechanism also we will try to understand what are the blob storage container and how we can configure local blob storage container for testing purpose right so let's get started first we'll try to understand what is an blob trigger so basically it's a mechanism to react to change uh, to changes in azure blob storage for example there is azure blob storage whenever there is a file get uploaded to that blob storage you want to trigger a function in that case we we have to use blob trigger so the blob trigger uh, will uh, trigger a function when there is any file getting uploaded onto that particular azure blob storage right so uh, the purpose of this is to automate automate a workflow uh, based on the blob storage changes. For example, as you can see there, if there is some kind of uh, website where as soon as user upload that information, you want to start the processing of uh, processing of certain tasks, right? Automated task. In that case, you will have to write a Azure blob trigger function, which will uh, trigger whenever a file get uploaded. For example. If we are having an employee onboarding process where employee uploads his document, then the Azure Blob Trigger function uh, basically uh, can read those uh, onboarding documents or experience document which are required to send to different different vendor for different different uh, kind of uh, you know authority to approve and validate it. So this is just one example uh, uh, of the use cases. So basically it's used for, uh, it's for data processing and media processing and integration kind of that. So how block trigger works is event driven. So whenever there is any uh, blob data or uh, get uh, uh, uploaded to that blob container, it will be basically automatically get triggered. So basically uh, also we can specify a, uh, a specific container for changes. Uh, uh, based on that, your Azure function will be listening the changes into that container, and it will be uh, it will be processing that. Okay, trigger mechanism. So basically, your functions are used to listen to a blob storage changes, and whenever there is a change, then it used to process it. Okay, so blob storage container is a basically a a, a blob storage where you can you know you can store a large amount of blob. Uh, data in blob storage right so let's get started we will first create a sample and we'll try to understand how does it works okay to to complete this uh, exercise what i have done it i have downloaded azure storage explorer so let me click on azure storage explorer so if you are not aware about that how you can use azure right on local machine for local testing right then you can refer my previous video where i have explained completely how you can configure as a right for a uh, local storage configuration and testing so i will link that video into the description you can refer that okay so this is my uh, azure explorer which is going to use that azure right emulator for blob containers and this is my blob containers right so this is what we are going to use it we'll go step by step we'll understand how we can configure to use this local blob storage for testing purpose so i will open visual studio right and then i will create a new function uh, for blob storage trigger right so i will select and then i will select function 2 and then i will give uh, blob storage trigger demo right and then i will select my code repo i will also add this code to git repo so that you can refer it if it's required 
okay so i click on next and then uh so whenever you are going to use the you know local storage that means emulator that which is azure right so you have to check this checkbox right so i selected this checkbox right and then you have to give connection string let's say we'll give connection string one you can give anything and then uh i will put demo right demo as a, a path right so we will create a uh, container for this and we will use this i will copy this and i will create it so it will get created okay so our azure function get created and now it will ask few more option we will so now here is saying azure is uh, store is uh, azure right on container uh, we will not use container we'll simply use a store as a right emulator on local click on next we'll click on next and don't store anywhere and then we will click on next right and we will not select anything we will just unselect it we do not want to store this secret on local that's fine right it's get created now right it's get created so first is that we will try to add a container there right so let's let's go into here and inside the blob containers we need to add a blob so create a blob container and we will give that name demo right so we have given demo as of now there is no files right and then since we have given connection string one name right so what we have to do we have to define the connection string information into the local setting right so i will go here and i will press this and then we have to define the value so for local storage you always use whenever you are using azure right you always use this configuration right so you use connection string and then the value of the connection string you always use this because azure right given a shortcut for connecting and that connection string what you have to define you have to define this right so we have what we have done we have created a con blob container and then we have created a basically uh, we have configured the connection string here right into the local setting digestion and then we are going to run it now so once you click on run it will basically run it now it's a build is started and first we'll try to understand that what exactly this function do whenever a file get uploaded then what does it do so it will trigger this function whenever there, there is a file get uploaded into that particular container right azure storage container and then in this what we are doing it we are displaying some information from that file which get uploaded into the console just to demonstrate how does it works right so uh, let me go through the code first and then uh, we will come back here so if you see here so we are reading that stream uh, information that is content of that particular file which is getting uh, uh, uploaded to that particular azure store look uh, container and then name so we are just displaying here name of this file and content of this file so whatever content of this file is there that we are displaying as a data and name of that file we are displaying as a name right so let's create a text file on the desktop so we will create a new new and we will create a text file demo upload right upload we will give demo upload right and then we will open it and just try to add it uh, some text here for this is text of the file which we have uploaded right just any information you can add it just for demonstration purpose so demo upload.txt is the file i will close this file now and then what i will do uh I will check that application uh, this particular Azure function is running that means this Azure function is running again we go here we check that Azure blob storage 
right your is your blog storage is not having any file so what i will put i will put both your console and this this emulator in one one screen so that we can see how simultaneously or asynchronously it works right so i will do like this and then i will put half a screen this and then what i will do i will open this console window and i will try to put in second half right so this is output right and this is the input where we are uploading so let's say consider we will click on upload a file we'll call upload a file right and i will browse it right and i will go to desktop and i will demo upload file i have selected right so i will open I, as soon as I click on upload, you just see what is happening. So I click on upload. So you see that upload is completed and you can see that uh, you can see that Azure function this. So demo upload is uploaded and this is this is the file name demo file upload text and this is the text of that particular file what we have uh, given right in that text file so it's a display so you, we can see that let's up, uh, upload some different file we will create a different file and try to upload it uh, okay so let me create file new and this is this is new file 2 right and I will file save as demo to something like that on the desktop right uh, desktop save it again I will go to that piece and try to upload it one file right I will upload file right and go there and select demo to file open it upload it so you will be able to see that once upload completed is is so now you can see here uh, the demo to file get uploaded right so if you see here demo to file name is demo to and contains this is demo file to which is so whenever a file get uploaded to this blob stores this triggers that is which is configured for blob store as trigger right uh, it is a triggering and reading that file and displaying here since we are not doing any processing as of now we are just displaying for demonstration purpose in real time scenario what will happen you will read this file you might need to push multiple messages or sending this file to different different department or different different components right by or different different message queue you will do this all this operation here and uh, it, it will work right so i hope you are uh, uh, able to understand that what is blob trigger and how to configure local how to test it if it helps you to understand what is blob trigger how to configure how to use it don't forget to subscribe my channel like and put your comment if you feel that there is some improvement required thanks for watching my channel